on this episode of Africans in Sports. Mensa back across and in. What does it mean for you to be from Ghana and to be here in America representing your country? It's the best thing yeah. that I'll ever let think of. Stay down, here's Mensa, and he finishes it off. If you can't talk or you can't walk or you can't, like, your hands are cut off, you can make it. Now right on top of Papa Mensa, it's in! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Africans in Sports. I'm your host, Chris Kosizi Strawn, and today we're in Nashville, Tennessee, to sit down with Ghanan born soccer star, Robaba Mensa. Robaba, yeah. what's up, bro? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm well, man. I'm happy to do this right here, man. Yeah, Thanks I'm for so having happy. us. I'm so happy to have, like, have you here. Thank you, man. So, you're our first athlete from Ghana. Oh, that is how, like, like, so good. It is? Yeah. You got to tell me about it. What's it like growing mm -hmm. up there? Um, it was nice. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Um, I would say that some, like, some part of it was tough. Yeah. yeah because I had no help. Mm. I had no help um, until I, I found a man. It, it, like he's called Dr. Benjamin Taylor. Dr. Benjamin Taylor. Yeah, and then um, he like he like it was like he took me from where I am mm -hmm. to my first professional signing. Wow. In Accra, so I'm from Cape Coast, mm -hmm. but like he moved me to Accra, ah. and I signed my first professional contract. When did this happen? When did you move to Accra? Um, I moved at the age of 17. Okay. Yeah, um, um, it was tough. Hmm. It was tough. Um, when you say it was tough, what do you mean? Um, I grew up playing soccer all my life. Mm -hmm. And um, as a kid, I will say, now I will say that um, I think everyone might help me with shoes, like balls, mm -hmm. with kids, you know, right? but I had nothing like that. Wow. I had nothing like that, and it was tough. It, it, it was really, really tough. But I stood my ground down, mm -hmm. and then I played and played and played until one man called Benjamin Taylor helped yeah. me. How did he find you? Um, he saw me on the streets. Wow. I was playing with some friends. Yeah. Then he saw me, and then he said he will help me, and it was like started from there. Wow! Shout out to Ben, Dr. Benjamin. Oh, uh, I hope in my life. So, what's the what's your family dynamic like? Um, my dad is dead. Oh man, sorry. And to I hope my left to my mom. Yeah. She been. Our mother, our father. Yeah, she's been everything. She, she has been everything to me up to date. Yeah. So I hold her my life. And um, I think I am living all this game to her. How do you help out your mom at home? Oh, like, um, I can't go there right now. So, yeah. But um, I spend her money. Yeah. Like, like, like often to take care of herself. Right. Yeah, and then um, she uh, appreciate what I do, mm -hmm. so I won't say much because if my mom is like <laughs> behind me, yeah, it means that whatever I am doing right now is right. Of course. Yeah. So your mom was always supportive of of your soccer playing. At first, she wasn't because. Um, I am her third born. Okay. And um, none of us has been outside, like outside of Ghana before. Oh, wow. So I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. And um, at first, it was tough because we had no money. Mm -hmm. um, she, like, she's the only one who is, like, taking care of us. Yeah. So 
she wanted me to like have a job mm -hmm. so that I can take care of her. Why? But she was like, I should stop playing soccer and the rest. But it got to a point that she like she has no choice. Right. To be like, oh, okay, Ro. Because it's providing. Yeah, yes. Okay, so Ro, you, you can play soccer now. Mm -hmm. So I stood my ground. Yeah. And then. And it worked out. Yeah. And then I came here. Yeah. yeah. And things are good. So good. So you have two other siblings. Are they your brother? I have three other siblings. Three other siblings. Yes. Okay. Brother, sisters? I have two sisters and a brother. Okay. Anybody and else play soccer? One plays soccer. Um, a brother plays soccer. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that he's so good. Yeah? Yeah. But I haven't seen him playing. Okay. You got you to gotta get some film, man. Yeah. Yeah. So he's out there. How old is he? Um, he's like 18. 18. Yeah. So he's kind of getting into that yeah. kind of mold yeah. to where he's going to be a professional yeah. soon. Yeah. You yeah. think he has it in him? What I heard is that, like, like, like he's so good. Yeah. He's so good than even me. Wow. That is what I heard back home. How does that make you feel? I feel like you are blessed. Mm -hmm. Like, since we lost our father, mm -hmm. we, we haven't had any help from anyone. Right. And now, this will pay off. And it won't be me alone. It, the help will come from me and then him. Yeah, yeah. Because if, like, like he gets himself abroad, it means that it will end much, it, and then to help home. So, it will help the family. Right, tremendously. Yeah. What does it mean for you to be from Ghana and to be here in America representing your country? It's the best thing. Yeah. That I'll ever like think of because from where I'm from, it's hard to to like come out. Right, it's hard, mm -hmm. and and just being me, I appreciate whoever is around me mm -hmm. because if it's not by them, I wouldn't have been here. Right, and and. What I would say is, like, thanks to all of them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's a lot of, it sounds like you had a lot of help to get to this point to be able to provide for your family now. Yes, like, um, like the man that I am, like, talking about. Right. He helped me. Mm -hmm. He really helped me. When you say he helped you, mm -hmm. and you said he's your manager, does that mean is helping him making a call to say, hey, he should play here? Or is, what do you, what do you mean exactly um, by helping he, like he helped me in money wise, mm. and then like 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 he took me into the right hands in Accra, right. into allies, yeah. into the right hands. That's what you need. Yeah, like I've had like so, like so many friends who were in the wrong hands, mm -hmm. and they have stopped playing, mm -hmm. but. God being so good for me, I was in the right hand. Right. And in her lies, I've been the best team that I've ever played. Wow, that's great to hear. Like, as a kid, I would choose them to be the best team. Mm -hmm. Because I was nobody. And then they took me, helped me. Mm -hmm. like, like, they helped me in so many ways and then sent me abroad. Yeah. That hey, you are ready. Yeah. Tell me about that experience of playing for that team. What was that um, like? It, I would say it, it, it was the best moment of my life because wow. they had so much trust in me mm -hmm. that I can deliver. They had so much trust that they even like like fought with the coaches. Yeah. It's just to play me. Just to make sure you was out there. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 I owe them my life too because those guys are the reason why I am here. You're here right now. Yeah. What is what would you say is your earliest soccer memory? What's the first thing you remember being a little kid 
and getting introduced to soccer? I played with some old dudes. Yeah. And I was I joined the best player. Mm. Yeah, that made me like, I can do this. Yeah. I have to push more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So playing with the older guys and yeah. seeing how good you were versus them, then that was when I'm you like, knew. <laughs> I can do this. Yep, yep. Yeah. Playing in Ghana is fun. Yeah. Without money. Yeah. It's fun. Mm -hmm. And it's tough. Yeah. Because we don't like we don't get to wear this new cleats. Yeah. Mhm. Mm like like there was a time I played with my bare foot, mm. and that is what I am. I mean, fighting so hard for right. it, it, it to give back to my community. There was a time my mom was like. You go out, you play, you don't bring money home. Mm -hmm. And so I that was need the point to, of this. Yes. So, and I need to like take care of your sisters and your brothers. And I'm like, Mom, it will pay off. Yeah. But she's like, what time? Like, in Ghana, it's hard. Yeah. Unless you find a help. Mm hmm like you got yes with Dr. Benjamin yes every year we organize some games for the kids yeah. like telling them that they can make it even without any help mm -hmm. that's huge so how often do you guys do this um we just like started a year ago okay and it was so the r r response that I got was so marvelous that filled your heart and I saw the the and the happy faces yeah, of the kids. That's everything. It makes me feel like even if I don't help everyone, yeah. they are happy yeah. with what I am like like having to them. For sure. Your name, Ropapa. Mm. Such a cool name. Yeah. What does that mean? It means great. Um, um my dad like told me that um he took it from Portuguese boss that he worked for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he took it f from him. Yeah. Then, like, he gave it to me. And it means to be great. Yeah. How do you carry that out in your life? I think I'm on the right course. Mm -hmm. I, I am on the right course to be great. Mm -hmm. Because from where I am from and then to be here, I am even great. Yeah. It's not easy. You're already great. It's not easy. Here. Yes. It, it, because I am here, mm -hmm. and as a young boy, you, you, you have to be here from Ghana as an international. Yeah. It's, it, it's not that easy. That's great in itself. Yeah, like what I've learned here, to be international, you, you have to be great. Yes, for sure. So I would say that my name is playing a part in my life. Mm -hmm. Huge part. Huge part. Tell me about the 17 years before you get to Accra. What's the, what's the traditional way that you grew up? Tell me about a, a traditional home in Ghana. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you grow up? What type of foods do you eat? Um, we eat like fufu, rice. Mm -hmm. We eat um, banku. I grew up in a good home. Mm -hmm. I was raised so good because... Um, um, I have been a friends with um, bad boys, mm -hmm. but I've never been bad. Yeah. Because of your mom? Yes. This will tell me that the way I was raised was, like, good. Yeah. Because um, um, as a kid, I wasn't, like, going anywhere. I would be at church, like, mm -hmm. like, like, the... Mm, mm, Moral life yeah. was that easy for us. Right. So that has helped me in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And um, um, my mom is everything to me yeah. right now. Like I can see it. My mom is everything. It's written all over your face. Because she raised us to be good. To be great. And then great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And... Um, um, for what 
I have become right now. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. You mentioned going to church. Yeah. How has faith been a big mm -hmm. part of this journey for you? Um, I'll say that um, we were raised with church. So um, we've been to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we've learned a lot from the church. Yeah. Yeah, we've learned a lot from that. And then I think that has brought me here it, it, because I know what is right and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I know what is right and what is wrong right. based on what I learned in the church. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say that it's all like comes in the one share that church and my mom has helped me yeah yeah so at 19 years old mm -hmm. you come over to america is that right yes yeah tell me about that whole uh journey mm -hmm. how does that start i signed for inter allies mm -hmm. at the age of 17. Mm -hmm. and i played the only two years mm -hmm. everyone saw it that i have to play outside yeah like i am ready Mm -hmm. And the Intellis guys also saw that I am ready. So there is no way for them to like keep me in Ghana. Yeah. And what I have learned and as a kid, we were raised to help others. Mm. So in all this, I got here so that I can help family and others. So in your time in Nashville, how has it been for you? Are you enjoying it? Nashville, I would say, is the, one of the best places that I've been. Wow. Why do you say that? Because um, as an African, like, what we heard about here is, it, it's a great country, but genocide or like shooting and everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, as an African, to be here and then to score a first goal yeah. ever, yeah. Um, it, it's like that has made me love this state. Yeah. Because everyone loves what I do. Yeah. Everywhere I go, everyone loves what I do. But here, they have embraced me mm. as their son. Yeah. As, as I'm, I am like part of them. Yeah. You've become that. Yes. And 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 I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. So I feel like I, I am home. Right. Nashville's like your second yeah, home. Yeah, like oh I am home. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like I love here. Yeah. yeah. So the two years that you spent in Nashville, it's been it's like they've adopted you. Yes. That's amazing. Can you find any good African food here? Um, for me, I am an indoor person. Mm -hmm. I'm an indoor person. I'm, I don't go out. Oh, I really? Yeah. Like, it is hard for you to see me out. Yeah. Like, um, I, I, I'm an indoor person. Why is that? Um, because of the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was raised if I don't come out. I'll have no issues. Yeah, yeah. You find in this space right in, here. Yeah, in my space. Yeah. Yeah. So, Comfortable. Yes. So um, here, I've never been like African restaurants or mm -hmm. like no, but I cook for myself. Yeah. Tell me about that. What do you cook? Um, <clears throat> I, I, I cook jollof rice. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you, you okay. <laughs> it's so good. I love it, man. Um, I cook bangkung. What's bangkung? Um, with a, it's a corn mixed um, food. Mm. Yeah, and m m my mom he, he used to sell bangkung, oh. so I was raised with bangkung. Oh wow! Yeah. So she makes it and sells Sell, it. Yeah. Wow, your mom is amazing. She is. Do you cook anything special before a game? What What I do. As my routine for games, like home games, mm -hmm. I don't do anything. I just stretch, do some pause, and then I'll eat like 
anything that I feel like to eat. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. You're not superstitious no. with what you eat. I, I don't stress myself that oh, I have a game, so I have to sleep like eight hours. I have to no. Okay. I do whatever I do in a day. Yeah. Like I feel like it's a game. It's not a fight. Yeah. It's a game, so I, I have to have fun. Right. So I feel free, mm -hmm. and then boom, I'm done. So making sure that you have, you make the best out of your experience while playing is just to feel as free as possible. As free as possible. Like I play with my heart yeah. and I, I, like, I, like I have to make my heart so freely that I won't stress myself. You can't. You can't. Y'all having fun and you're yes. getting paid for it. Yes. It doesn't get any better than that. That's, that's true. Like, like, I, like I am having fun and I, I get paid for it. Yeah. It's the best job in the in world. In the world. What are the biggest challenges you faced since you've been here? By not like coming back fit. I went back home. I trained, but for me alone to train, it wouldn't take much. I came back and it wasn't like, like 100%. Mm -hmm. So... I wasn't able to play for the first six games. Mm -hmm. I didn't play for the first six games. Because I was, you were shape. Yes, and I have to like do some tests, tests, tests to be in shape. And that, I think that like cost me because it, it would have helped me mm -hmm. like, like getting more goals, right. more assists. Right. And then like more games, mm -hmm. yeah. That is the the most difficult thing that I've seen. So you're here right now, and you looked at somebody who's gonna elevate this Nashville team. What does that mean to you mm -hmm. to be that guy? To be looked at as that guy? It means a lot. Mm -hmm. I didn't even like dreamt of it. Yeah. That I'll one day be here, <clears throat> and then. I'll be the main guy of a team. Mm -hmm. I d know that I'll be a great guy, but I, I didn't know that it will be like this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it feels so good to be part of this team. Yeah. It feels so good as a new team, mm -hmm. and you are the biggest part of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I couldn't ask for more. You're blessed, bro. What advice would you give a young boy from Ghana right now? What would you tell him today? I'll say that um, I would firstly say um, now everyone needs help. Mm -hmm. Everything is done with money. Mm -hmm. We can't just say that <laughs> They can do it right. and then be like, yeah, let's go and play. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs help. Right. So I'm urging all my fellow soccer players mm -hmm. who think they can help should even try and then help one boy. Mm. Each one teach one. Each one should take one boy. Right. And then that. help. Bro, you're super inspirational. Your name, you've carried that on your back to be great for your own people back home, for your family. It's inspired me today to make sure that when I step out that door, I'm gonna go be great as well. Thank you. Thanks to you. So I appreciate you taking the time to do this with us right here, bro. Seriously, man, it's been everything for me. I've, I've grown from this right here. No lie. And I am happy that you have me on your show. Of course, man. Um, this is the first time I've, I am being in front of like camera. What made you want to do that? Because um, I felt in me that this is it's going to be great. It is. So I have to do it. It is. I don't have to say no. Right. And, and, and everything that I do like comes from me first. Before I do it, and then when I saw your test, and I'm like, 
Okay, then I'll do it. Right. So, and I know this will inspire so many people. Sure will. That is why I'm like, I have to do it to show everyone that even though I don't talk well. You do? I am here. I've, I have made it in life. Everyone can make it. Everyone can, man. Everyone can make it in life. Hey. Even if you can't talk or you can't walk or you can't, like, if your hands are cut off, mm -hmm. you can make it. Bro, your message has been loud and clear. And if anything, if you take anything from this right here, you make sure you go be great. Like Ro Papa. That's the name. That's the theme of today's episode. That's all our time today, bro. I really appreciate you. Thank you. I'm Kosizi. This is Ro Papa Mensa. And that's all our time, baby. For Africans in Sports, be out of here, baby. On the next episode of Africans in Sports. When you come over here, people say, man, Africans lie about their age. Now, Africans go to so much that it forced them to become men early. at an early age. I didn't know whether I should jump of happiness or cry. And then when I finally dunked, I was like, wow, this feels really good. Huh? <laughs>